there was always hope, um, kind of like there was always hope that we'd find out what my mom's status was. From her home in Georgia, Catherine Curring expressed both relief that someone has finally been charged for killing her mom, Sharon Kedzerski, and anger towards the accused former truck driver, Samuel Legg. His relationship with God is between him and God. Um, when it's time to discuss, you know, how his soul is going to be managed. But for his days on this earth, um, he doesn't have any more liberties. Sharon was a stay-at-home mom before working as a bookkeeper and an H&R Block branch manager. But in 1989, she was supposed to get on a train from Florida but vanished. Her body was found in 1992 behind a truck stop in Austin Town. Prosecutors say she had been raped, beaten, and choked. For years, she was listed as a Jane Doe, but Sharon's two daughters submitted DNA samples to a national database of unidentified people. And in 2013, her identity was confirmed. Today, Catherine got word that Legg was charged with aggravated murder, he would have been in his 20s at the time of the killing. It just seems like he doesn't process it as being a problem. And that's so disturbing. Leg has been on the radar of investigators for a couple of years based on BCI Familia DNA testing, showing Leg was a possible match to Sharon's murder. In January, a sample from Leg in Arizona was the final piece, connecting him to the unsolved rape in Medina and Sharon's case. Within two weeks, BCI confirmed that Mr. Leg was a match to uh, Medina County's case and to our unknown male in Ms. Kaczerski's homicide. And that led to today's four count indictment, including aggravated murder. Asked to offer Legg's possible motive, the prosecutor said this. I can't get into uh, somebody of this na man's nature. I can't get into his head. And for Sharon's daughter, who has waited so long for this painful mystery to be solved, she has this message. No one gave him the right to finish my mom's journey. Her journey wasn't done. And his rights on this earth um, are now over. The Mahoning County prosecutor says he is not seeking the death penalty in this case, and he also went on to say that Legg is not a suspect in any other murders in Mahoning County, but he is a suspect in two other Ohio killings and another in Illinois. Live in Youngstown tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.